So I'm here today with Erica Kagampan. Uh, she was born in Kazan City in Philippines, uh, and she moved uh, when she was two kids uh, to US uh, in Palo Alto, California, with her parents. Uh, and she went to school in a very prestigious place at UC Berkeley, California, where she studied integrative biology. And Erica has been part of the Hatamishi Legal Lab for the past almost three years. And recently she was admitted uh, for medicine uh, at UCSF uh, in San Francisco, California. Uh, and I would like to ask, um, so it, it has been a pleasure to work with you. Uh, Thank you. And I would like to ask, um, uh, how did you make the decision to pursue science and medicine? Uh, yeah, that's always something that I've known I've really liked since I was very young. Actually, it's really funny because in my kindergarten yearbook, at age four, they asked us to put what our wish is, and then I wrote my wish is to be a doctor, OBGYN. So <laughs> um, that's something that's always been at the forefront of my mind. I think as a kid, I was always really curious, and my family helped feed that curiosity. But the reason I decided to go into medicine as a kid was because I had this like toy set for medicine, and I thought it was very interesting. But as I grew older, my love for science only increased as well, and I started taking classes, and especially in high school, I really liked biology. And then when it came to my undergraduate career, I had the chance to work in a couple of different labs, and that was really formative in my desire to pursue science and medicine and research as well, so. Mm, that's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, my next question would be how your family reacted to your uh, chosen career path. I bet it was something very natural. But uh, can you comment more uh, on that? Like, how did they react? Yeah, so no one in my family has ever been a scientist or a doctor. There are a lot of people in my family who are nurses or engineers, but no one has ever really pursued science or medicine. So to them, it was kind of this foreign concept. I mean, you have a little kid who's telling you, like, they want to be a doctor, and they're like, oh, yeah, definitely, sure. Like, um, I think... <laughs> They're really happy and they've always been really supportive that I've gone through that sort of journey and then despite you know my mind changing a couple times like I still decided to stick with science and medicine in the end and so far I feel like they've just been really supportive and proud. <laughs>